We've waited all winter. Mr. Ryan Jenner, Mr. James Thomas Elliott. We've trained all spring. Stephanie Krauss. Christopher Bellino. Year after year, we've endured. Kevin Halloran. It's Greg McLean. We fought and we failed. Jason DiMatteo. Watsi. Watsi. We've sacrificed it all just for a chance at glory. Evan Saar. Joe Yu. There's been bloodshed, egos bruised, and reputations ruined. Kyle and Mosk. And today, we find ourselves yet again at an important crossroads. Wise, Miley Cyrus once said, It ain't about what's waiting on the other side. It's the climb. Strap up tight and buckle your seatbelts. It's time for 2017 QU Fantasy Football. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, live here in Vancouver, kinda, <laughs> uh, really excited to bring you the 2017 draft pick selection special. Um, sad to say, but the league has downsized. We're cutting back the budgets, we're rolling back, and we are now down, down to 12 people. And you can blame Kevin McLean for that, shout out to Kevin, love you bud. But we don't want to wait any longer. Dima's probably going to get a little pissy, you know. Panties bunched up. So with that, we start with your 2015 champ, Joe Yoon. Now this is a strong performance from Joe. Another strong performance last year. Uh, has turned into a more consistent competitor. Someone that I think everyone fears in the league. And he seems to be someone as well that it doesn't matter how busy he gets because he's just crushing life. Right, just putting his hands all over other guys and stuff, you know. Doesn't matter how busy he gets, he still is able to put in year after year now for at least maybe the last five or six years, continuously solid performances. But you know what? You're not my horse, so don't worry, bud. Curse is off. Next up, 2016 champ, your reigning champ, Chris Bellino. I can't even begin to tell you how much it pains me to hold this piece of paper up here. In fact, we're just going to get to crumpling because it has just, just been brutal having to listen to Bellino just bragging. I mean, no one, no one since freshman year, Quinnipiac, shout out third floor Ledges crew, no one likes or likes to listen to Chris Bellino boast and brag, especially when he nailed a hot chick. You know, that's just the worst, the worst. So we move along. Really excited to welcome back someone who may be, no, not my horse. So Greg, you are in the clear too. Your 2012 champ, Greg McLean. Uh, I hope and I feel as it is your duty to make sure that you give your brother a really hard time. I mean, I want to make Kevin just weeping at my door, sending me snap. I want Kevin to download Snapchats just to tell me, please let me back in the league. I'll do anything. Now there's a really important statistic here that I have to hold up as we hold up James Tomaselli. James, now that Kevin is gone, is the only active member, active manager, with two QUF FBL championships. Once again, it pains me to give James any praise, but now that Kevin is gone and John Bach is forever gone in the distance doing whatever it is that he does in Jersey, James is the only manager with two rings. Okay, closest thing to Tom Brady, TD12, it's James Tomaselli. But James, you're not my horse either. Oh, this one. There couldn't be a more accurate card. Evan. Sar. I mean, this is easily now the worst manager in QUFFBL. I mean, I know that was only 12 of us, but let's be real. 
no one drafts worse than Evan. And we still have Watsy left to go, right? I mean, and that really says a lot. Evan Saar, this is not your year. I love you, bud. I don't know what you're doing. You could be, uh, you know, betting on the ponies right now. You, uh, you might be playing ice hockey or pretending to. To be real, you're a terrible athlete. You're in the bucket. Ding. As we spoke of, Watts, AKA Watts. Wattsy, Wattsy! Ryan Watts. Look, I know you got a new girlfriend. Shout out to the new girlfriend. None of us have met her yet, so hey, let's, uh, let's see if we can coordinate that. Ryan Watts in the bucket. And guess what? Ryan Watts is not my horse this year. Not my horse. Not my, wait, a little, little more crumple for Rye Guy. All right, next up, Steph. Now, it, I'm happy about pulling Steph's name out of this stack because Steph is the one who came into the league and said that she was gonna dominate and that it was just gonna be a joke and that we didn't know what we were doing. And she, now she bitches and complains about 14 people. There's too many people, there's not enough spots in the waivers. Guess what? No complaints. I don't wanna hear it. It's junk. 12 people, put up, shut up, get it done. Steph, DiMatteo, I don't care, you're a mom now. Figure it out. In the bucket. All right. We got the man behind the camera, behind the lens, your 2010 champ, Kyle Ambus. I never say anything bad about him because he gets uh, final production. <laughs> that just wouldn't work out well for me. So Kyle, in the bucket. We have the forever cursed, forever a bridesmaid, but never a bride, Jason DiMatteo. Jason DiMatteo, and you know what, bud? I'm happy to say that this is not your year. You are not my horse. Mm -mm. Nope, dad life, hashtag dad life. Throw him in, not gonna happen, bud. You two are gonna be so busy. Braden's gonna like cry every single time red zone touchdowns happen. It's gonna be the worst football season ever for you guys. Jake's gonna start just shitting all over the place. It's gonna be a disaster down there in Holly Springs. It's gonna be a mess. One of my favorites, Kev Howe. Hey, listen, this could be the year. I I'm gonna make a bold prediction, all right? Kev Howe is going to finish in the top four for the regular season, okay? Never been a strong playoff competitor, so I can't go out that far on the limb, otherwise the limb's gonna break. Let's be real here. But Kev Howe is going to be a top four competitor because he has hashtag dad life down to a science. He knows what he's doing. He's got Shell Bell and she's killing it. Killing it on the mom game. Multiple kids, better than the DiMatteos. Same. Now, I know, now you know who my horse is. Ryan Gendron. That's right, folks. Your Arlington Spy Ponders head football coach. Ryan Gendron. Coach Gendron has been sniffing and sniffing at the championship for years now. And he's gotten close. And I think now, going to 12, 12 managers, I think this is his year, you know? And some people call it a curse, but you know what? I tend to be pretty accurate. Guys that I pick, they go deep. They don't always win, but I'm picking good horses, right? So you wanna bet with me, not against me, folks. Okay, last but not least, Kamish, you know who that is. So, without further ado. All right. So, with the 14th pick, I'm sorry, the 12th pick, excuse me folks, the 12th pick in the QUFFBL Fantasy Football Draft, the manager is, oh, Oh, on the turn. Myself, Kamish, brutal. Not where I want to be. I'll sulk and drink about this later as I drink a nice, fine, fine Vancouver IPA. The 11th pick in the QUFFBL Fantasy Football Draft. The manager is... Hey, little Gregory. You see it right there, folks. I like that because you and I, we couldn't pick further apart in terms of style. You're not going to steal my guys. I love that. The power on the turn, folks. Just saying. Okay. 
with the 10th pick in the QUFFBL draft. The manager is your reigning champion. I know this is not where he's going to want to be, so this is good. This is this is all signs point to a total sophomore slump in terms of post uh, post championship life, and uh, this is going to be great for your ego because it just needs to be stroked, and instead we're just going to punch it instead. All right, with the ninth pick in the QUFFBL draft, the manager is. Number nine, Ryan Watts. Ryan Watts. Love that. All right. We're down to eight. With the eighth pick in the QUFFBL draft, the manager is. <laughs> the worst guy in the league. Here we go, number eight, Evan Saar. Okay. With the seventh selection in the QUFFBL draft, the manager is, hey, pretty much right in the middle, and he already gave a thumbs up. He's feeling okay about this. Although, I tell you what, first pick, you're gonna struggle. You're gonna struggle here. You're not gonna get who you want. But Godspeed. Good luck to your horses. With the sixth pick in the QUFFBL draft, the manager is, yeah, I wish. Shout out to my man, Big B. What's up, dude? First football season with Braden. This is the DiMatteo's child, little curveball. <laughs> All right, with the real sixth selection in the GU Fantasy Football Draft, the manager is, it's gotta be a DiMatteo. Gotta be a DiMatteo. <laughs> oh! Where Big B is, Mama Steph is not far behind. Love that. Steph at number six. All right, folks, top five, okay? Top five, all right? Everybody just get settled in your chairs here. Number five, the manager is, wow. Di Matteo is just stealing Di Matteo picks all over the place, forward and backward, it's gonna be great. No divorces, guys, whoops. <laughs> here we go, top four, top four. Number four, the manager is always getting the best draft picks. Kyle, I'm right on this. Always getting the best selections. This has got to be one of your good years, man. You've got to be a top four in the regular season because you were a top four. You're on draft day. Come on, bud. The writing's on the wall. Make me look good. Number three, number three, the manager is. I'm just happy this is not number one. I just, it pains me anytime he gets like some sort of credit or good luck. I hate it. Number three, James Tom Selleck. Okay, we got two left, all right? I know that we have Gendron, my horse, okay? And we should have, let me think about this here. Well, I'm not sure. Joe Yoon, okay? With the second, Overall pick in the QUFFBL draft. The manager is Joe Yoon. And that means your number one overall pick and the guy who I'm choosing to be my horse, my horse, Ryan Gendron. Love it. There's your 12, folks. Scrolling on your screen. Hey, listen, I'm happy to be back. I'm excited for a wonderful and awesome fantasy season. You're all gonna lose. Even though Jenner is my horse, I'm gonna beat him in the championship. That's how it's gonna go, folks. Number two, coming for James, coming for the record. Kevin, goodbye, you're a loser. We hate you. <laughs> Kyle thinks that's a little harsh. That's fine, man. Hey, we'll see you guys soon.